Hi everyone, Steven here. Thank you for tuning in with me today. Uh, it's been a while since I last posted, so I apologize, but uh, a lot has changed. Although today's episode, we are actually going to do something special, is to show you where do fish sleep in the night. So first of all, I'm going to show you my clownfish. Um, they pretty much, you know, unless they're attached to a anemone, they just kind of sleep, sleep out in the open. I just turned the light on and this is their normal bedtime. So they're kind of in the oven, uh, in the open. And then right here, if you look closely, there's a six line grass. It actually kind of wedged itself inside the coral. And um, there's my shrimp there, cleaner shrimp, kind of just hanging upside down. And this is what's happening in the night in the tank. And then moving forward to my other tank here. The tangs usually just kind of hang out. There's my butterfly. And you can see the kind of the tail in the back. It's my Tomini tang back there. And then here I'm gonna show you guys. Here is a cluster of coral. And if you look closely, there's an eyeball there. My antheas actually sleep in there as well as the other six line wrasse. Not sure if you have an angle, but you can kind of see the belly of the six line there. And then right up there, you see that shiny blue? That's my blue tang being silly, and that's actually where he sleeps underneath the uh, uh, Mandipora digitata. And inside that same cluster of Mandipora, there's also a damsel sleeping in there and then in this corner there is a starfish wedged here <laughs> there's some bristol worm here and then i have a clownfish here comfortably sleeping inside the anemone now moving on to my 180 gallon tank so right here I have the pair of maroon clowns sleeping in here. Now looking into the crevices to see if we see anyone else. On this side, I think most of them are kind of hiding in the back. But I know on the other end of the tank, things get exciting. So here's a purple tank, you can see the tail. That's that's his little hole. And then there's my emperor as well as the nasal. And then let's see. Somewhere behind this cluster of rock, I also have a blue face angel sleeping. It's kind of hard to see. But I assure you, they are there. This guy is kind of inquisitive. So that's the saltwater fish going on. Oh, and cut up. This the sea cucumbers are very active in the evening. And then let's take a look at my discus. Yeah, they don't really have a quote-unquote hiding place. It's just kind of dwell in the bottom of the tanks, wherever they can hide. And there's very active plecos in the night. And then moving on, we have saffrons here. Okay. They're still a little bit active. Sometimes, um, kind of in a very early part of the morning when I come, if I shine light into it, they aren't even moving. Tetras are moving a lot, actually. Quite a bit. There's a rainbow fish. <laughs> it's kind of like diving in the night. It's pretty cool. 
But anyways, so this, this episode is just kind of show everyone where all the fish go to sleep in the night. And um, tomorrow I will do another video of some of the new livestock that I've just received this week. Super exciting. Oh, there's a yellow tank. There. Hello. Anyways, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.